you talk about young adulthood, and here is where you're introducing some more interesting uh, mechanisms, intimacy versus isolation. Now, presumably you're saying then, as the uh, individual grows beyond uh, beginning in his beginnings of dealing with the identity problem, then he now can move beyond that to this matter of intimacy and versus isolation, meaning in a sense relationships with others. Isn't this what you're uh, suggesting then? Chris, I mean much more. I mean right. intimate relationships. Intimate relationships, that's what I mean. And by that I mean friendship, yes. love, sexual intimacy, marriage, and um, I mean psychologically even a little more than that, and which one really can un understand only if one uh, quite, if one has dealt psychiatrically with disturbances of this. Namely that intimacy is really the ability to fuse your identity with somebody else's, without fear that you're going to lose something yourself. That's why it is the stage which makes marriage possible, and why marriage doesn't work if that has not developed. Would this uh, be consistent with the notion that many of our sociologist colleagues have suggested from their research that characteristically very early marriages, that is in early age groups, are less likely to succeed than marriages of little age groups? I think age? that is one of the main reasons. Because some people, some young people marry to find their identity by marrying, or find their identity in somebody else, which you cannot do. To be, to be really intimate, you have to be able to mm. have a very uh, a firm identity already.